Shuai Nilhan Ajil Kalin, a professor at Ankara Hachibairam Veli University. All right, 60 days, it is something, but it, that's quite a short period of time. Does that mean that these negotiations down to the wire are just going to ha have to happen for another time? Uh, actually, yes, it's uh, just 60 days, but it's still important to have time to talk with the Russia and it is pre-request for the extension of the Grain Deal Agreement. Uh, as you mentioned that uh, in last month, the Russia once more underlined that they would like to extend the Grain Deal Agreement. Uh, however, they have a pre-request uh, if only the Russians uh, also grain and other products will be sent to the uh, other parts of the world. I think uh, these 60 days extension uh, would be uh, beneficial for the continuation of this uh, agreement. But also it is important to see still the negotiations are uh, going on with the Russia, uh, United Nations, and of course with the Ukrainian, with the center of the Turkey's uh, position in during these negotiations. So what do you think the chances are that anybody's going to be willing to lift sanctions on Russia. Russia did, after all, invade its neighbor here. Uh, until now, it seems that the most of the European countries, especially with the pressure of the United States, they seem to be uh, silent related with the sanctions uh, on the Russia. But uh, on the other hand, uh, compared to the first months of the uh, war started in last year, the sanctions seems to be more uh, softened, or at least they they would be in a silence towards the, uh, Russia, especially when it comes to the energy issues and other critical issues that shared with the common agenda with Europe and Russia as well. Uh, but especially uh, in these the grain deal issues, when it comes to the uh, requirement of the Russia for the extension, it seems that the Europeans doesn't have any objections until now. Uh, okay. All right. Shuai, Nilhan, Ajikalin, thanks for joining us. Thank you.